hello friends welcome back to the channel techno 49 i hope everyone is safe in today's video i would be talking about five important wfm or workforce management questions that generally ask during the interviews so now let's go to the first question what i have here is if call volume is higher what would be call answered percentage a call answered percentage would be lower b call answered percentage would be higher so before jumping to the questions I would be letting you know that first of all you have to check all the questions what I have put in in this video and I will provide the answer once I am done with all the questions so now please try to pause the video think over it what could be the correct answer of it this first question now let's go to the second question what we have second question is that if occupancy is lower what would be call abandoned percentage call abandoned percentage would be lower call abandoned percentage would be higher question number three if staffing is lower what would be average speed of answer a average speed of answer would be lower b average speed of answer would be higher so now let's move on to the fourth question what we have so the fourth question is that what would be the impact of higher occupancy on service level a service level would also be higher b service level would be lower so the last and the fifth question is that how to find out simply in one hour how many calls can be handled by one agent a 3600 divided by target aht b target aht divided by 3600 so i have included these five important questions so please pause the video uh, just mention the correct answer in the comment section if you know already and in and if the people who do not know anything about it so please try to see the answer so now let's see what the first question we had if call volume is higher what would we call answer percentage so the call answer percentage would be lower because we would be having back to back calls and there would be calls waiting so in that case what's going to happen the call answer percentage would be lower would be reduced because during the call waiting or the call higher call volume we would be having the head count as per the call volume or the forecasted call volume and if the call volume is higher so less number of call would be answered and by that way the call answer percentage would be lower second question is that if occupancy is lower what would we call abandoned percentage so the correct answer is that the call abandoned percentage would be lower because if occupancy is lower it means that we do not have too many calls and there is no calls waiting so the chances of calls being abandoned would be very less question number three if staffing is lower what would be average speed of answer so the correct answer is that every speed of answer would be higher because we do not have sufficient headcount in place to answer the incoming call volume so it will increase the average speed of answer so we need to have sufficient headcount in place to ensure that the average speed of answer can be minimized so now let's go to the fourth question what is the impact of higher occupancy on service level it means that the correct answer is that the service level would be lower higher occupancy means that we have back-to-back -back calls waiting and all of the agents are occupied on calls so this will indicate that the service level would be lower question number fifth how to find out simply in one hour how many calls can be handled by one agent so the correct answer is that 3600 divided by target hd 3600 is the seconds what we have in one hour I hope you like this video in case if you have any kind of questions please just mention in the comment section please subscribe share this video i would be back thank you so much again for watching this video